Good evening, I am Pearl Akanya Ofori with City News Daily. Our top story, after initial delays, vaccines for H1N1 type A virus finally arrive in the country. Following strings of related deaths, senior high schools across the country. Details of that story are coming up shortly. Now, vaccines for H1N1 type A virus, otherwise known as swine flu, have arrived in the country following initial delays. The Ghana Health Service has said that it would ensure that students of the Kumasi Academy in the Ashanti region are vaccinated before school breaks for Christmas on Friday. The H1N1 flu has been detected in at least a dozen students of the Kumasi Academy where four students are suspected to have died from it. Students and staff of the school were administered some other antiviral agents and the school was also fumigated following the detection of the swine flu. City News checks now have revealed that health officials in the Ashanti region will be dispatching the antiviral vaccines to the school. Now some members of the governing new Detroit party in the Ilembele constituency of the Western region today besieged the party's headquarters in Accra, demanding their original polling station registers. According to the livid party members, their constituency chairman, Samuel Akenya, has denied them access to original copies of the registers ahead of next month's constituency executive's elections. The government party, that's the new patriotic party, is expected to go to the polls in January 2018 to elect polling station executives. Now, as part of this, all party members are to have their names captured in the party's register by December 25, 2017. The party members also claim that the constituency chairman has instead made available other forms for the registration process. This, according to the group, is a ploy to manipulate the election of party executives at the constituency level through to the national level. The Deputy Minister for Trades and Industry, Carlos Ahinkra, has apologized to the NDC Member of Parliament for North Tone Samuel Okujoto Ablakwa for his verbal assault on him over the expatriate awards controversy. The Deputy Minister is said to have verbally abused Mr. Ablakwa at a press encounter Mr. Ablakwa organized to present the minority's allegations of extortion of money against the ministry in the organization of the expatriate awards. But speaking to Accra based Peace FM this morning, the Deputy Minister for Trade, Carlos Ahenkra, said he regrets the incident. Meanwhile, the Director of Communications at the President's, Eugene Ahin, has told City News Daily that President Ekufuado will act on details of the written explanation on the expatriate awards bribery allegations provided at his office by the Trades Minister Alan Tremartin. The Minister for Special Development Initiatives, Mavis Hawakumsen, has assured Ghanaians there will be value for money in her ministry's budget expenditure. The ministry per its 1.2 billion budget is to spend some 15 million Ghana cities on office accommodation from the middle and coastal belt development authorities, including regional offices. It will also procure 24 wheel drive vehicles at 10 million Ghana cities and develop a website at a cost of 800,000 Ghana cities. Although the minority in parliament has described the budget as a ripoff, the sector minister insists there will be value for money. And that does it for City News Daily. I am Pearl Akanya Ofori. Thanks so much for your time.